All right, guys, thanks for joining us on the back. Great front nine. Kyle, what are you looking at of this back nine? Yeah, so this is definitely where a lot more scoring can happen, and this is where a lot more parts can come into play. It gets tighter, it gets a little trickier, it gets a little bit more open, so the wind's really going to start hitting us. Yeah, agreed. That'll bring us to hole 11, par 3. This is a short backhand hyzer, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. You know, right-hand backhand hyzer, throw it up, miss that tree on the left, miss the tree in the back, miss the tree in the middle, and you're right on the dance floor. I've seen this hole almost aced a couple of times. It's a hole that you definitely want. You made it sound easy. Jeremy's going to that lefty forehand, finds a nice gap there. Yeah, he's up there. He's on that dance floor. He's yeah, ready so. to make that putt. There we go. What are you throwing here, Kyle? This is a neutron runway. And I'm just looking to hit a nice firm hyzer. And by hyzer, I mean hit a nice tree in the middle. That was looking good, though. Looking real good. Yeah. Ryan with a slip on the tee box. Good recovery. He definitely looked a little ginger coming off of that. That's this is fortunate. Yeah. Kale throwing his M2 here. Is that watermelon disc? Oh, that's the watermelon. And when you see the watermelon come out, you know it's going to be juicy. It's going to be real juicy. Look that looks so easy. Nice Look. action on the ground there. That was lovely. Just effortless, smooth. So Ryan here going to scramble, trying to save that par, getting it up and close. Hits that nice anti forehand line. Nice angle there. That had good hut on it. That would have panned out. Yeah. Throwing my soft heart. Just at this point, get up to the basket, take my par, and move on. Yeah, there you go, smart. This is a save par for Ryan. Good run, good run. Yeah. So at this point, are you aware of scores? Are you playing against Kale? Are you playing against the field? What are you thinking? Still going against Kale. I've kind of lost track about where we're both at, but I know, looking at this, I know he just gained a stroke on me. So, you know. Good birdie out of Jeremy, too. Bogey there for Ryan, par out of you. Yeah, scores are kind of all over the place. This is fun, fun disc golf. Yeah, for sure. That'll bring us to hole 12, par 3, 294. Again, tight gaps here. What do you like here, backhand, forehand? What are you going to? I think either shot works well as long as it's executed well. You know, there's a couple of trees in the way in both lines. So if you're missing the trees, you're getting up to the basket. Jeremy with that leopard 3 forehand. Catches that big tree, unfortunately. Good line, though. Yeah. Kale says, I'll stick with this backhand. It's been working. Yeah, I guess it's worked. And he just throws a, such a beautiful, pure line. What a dart. You know, you see a line like that and you go, you know what, I bet you I could take that shot too. So I said, let's throw that same exact shot. I fall, I fall into that trap often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a mistake a lot of players make. You see something, you start playing out of your game. Ryan going, nope, my game is a forehand. So he throws. A nice simple forehand. He's throwing his neutron runway. Just had to miss that tree, unfortunately. Yeah. You're going back to this harp here? Yeah. This is pure trouble. With the roller. Yeah, it was a terrible yeah. kick. Didn't have much and just plan basically for bogey at this point. Fun to watch you and Ryan go to the forehands, uh, kind of scramble forehands. Fun to watch. Yeah, especially because, you know, you don't see any of them out of Kale. So you get to see how a lot of players are approaching this. Like a lefty forehand, you don't see too much. So it's awesome to see that. Blows my mind to wrap around the lefty play. It's always like, wait, which way? Well, okay. Yep. <laughs> Wood spin. Okay. All right. So this is my par putt, and it is quite long, probably outside of circle two. Is that big tree in your face or just up, just over? Uh, just the angle. You know, I Good had run. to miss it, but. Yeah, tough hole. This hole is shorter, but a lot of trees. Yeah, a lot of trees. It's birdieable, but at the end of the day, you just want to par here. Another birdie for Kale. Goes to minus, uh, minus 10. Yeah, he just makes that so easy. Jeremy just save his, just take his par, really, not really save it. And this isn't an easy part, uh, bogey shot for you. Not an easy bogey shot. No, this is the first basket where you actually get some wind as well. Definitely. That'll bring us to our next hole check-in. So through 11, Bobby at minus 11, Kale's at minus 10, you're at minus 8 with Ryan Peterson. A lot of holes left, but scores are up and down. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, it's anyone's game at this point. All right, that'll bring us to hole 13. This is a fun one, par 3, 336. Got to keep it low, right? Got to have something that skips. 
fun hole here for sure. Yeah, be mindful of this ceiling. And I think that's what this whole design's all about. Elevated tee to a lower green with just a low opening you, you gotta hit, especially with some wind that's been ripping up. So you're going into a headwind that's gonna wanna lift that disc. Kale's going with his putter, which is amazing. Which is amazing, and he also keeps it pretty high, but just a master of angles and yeah. speed control. Yeah, he gets a little hung up up high and knocks it down a little shorter than he was expecting, but that's going to give him a putt. Jeremy's throwing his Star Destroyer here. Pretty good angle. Maybe want to start that a little further left and hits that early tree, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Ryan Beckley throwing a... F-A-F Champ Firebird. This looks great. Awesome angle. Great gap. Yeah, yeah, right next to Kale. That's lovely. Yeah, anytime you're landing near Kale, you're doing all right. So I'm throwing a Halo Star Destroyer here. I'm going for that forehand line low blaster. And this disc is beefy, and you throw it. Lovely. Yeah, that thing was smushed. And it puts me just inside the circle at around 22 feet from the pin. Threw it past our catch cam guy. Yeah. He had a hard time following it. <laughs> Jeremy finding some trouble on his upshot here. Smart to leave it, though. It's a tough run if you're going for it. Yeah. Ryan trying to get aggressive. It wow. pays off. Nice Great putt out of Ryan. He's been waiting for a big one like that. that uh, Absolutely. That should put him on the right track. That's a tough one to run because there is no backdrop. You miss and you are gone. Uh, Kale's deciding to play soccer here with his disc. <laughs> I'm going to kick it around. Uh, he's just trying to find a good, comfortable what lie. Soc I didn't know he was such a soccer fan. Right? You know, sign him up. He's a man of many talents. So this tree's obviously in his way, but you know he's mindful of the roll away on the backside. Tough, tough putt here. Yeah, you got to touch it with some Anheuser and touch it into the tree. He was fighting that putt from the beginning. That's not an easy one. No. All right, this is a safe par for Jeremy. And that was more than he wanted left on that. Yeah. yeah. And this is my birdie putt coming in here. Right around 22 feet. What are you aiming for here? Where, uh, where on the chain? Dead center. Dead center. Just go Love right that. in the middle. Love Bruce. it. Great putt. Great thank hole. You. Yeah, thank you. All right, so Kale, a little elevation here, but nothing you can't handle. Good par out of him. Great battle out of you guys. Absolutely. Kind of give and take from both of you guys. Yeah, it felt good to come back from a uh, from a bogey on the previous hole. So that's a, you that's know, how you do it. Bogey to birdie stat right there. So unfortunate miss from up. from Jeremy. Yeah, just off the top. You know, it's very easy to do when you get frustrated. Definitely, that'll bring us to hole 14, par four, 352. We have a Mando on the left hand side. Doesn't really come into play unless you're me. I missed the Mando. <laughs> it happens. You want to land kind of right around where the drone is and have a nice easy upshot. Fun hole here. You like this one? Oh, I love this hole. It's you know it's mind blowing in that it's only 352 feet because of how uphill it is, um, but it is a super you know gettable and one you definitely want to hit that three on. You know with a nice solid drive here you can make a very easy upshot. Interesting to see Ryan go to his backhand here. Yeah, he's throwing a S-line DD3. Not bad. He's kind of landing where the drop zone is for that Mando. Yep. This is me throwing the same Halo Destroyer, but going backhand and just trying to rip it. Uh, yes, I'd consider that ripped. That's probably yep. the longest drive I've ever seen on this <laughs> hole. Yeah, it, that's in a beautiful spot. Just wide open, clean look at the basket. You know, Kale's going to throw his, uh, I believe it's an H, uh, yeah, H. H3V2 probably. Yeah. Those numbers will get you. H3. It's not nearly as as juiced as yours, but that'll that's right kind of at that landing zone. Yep. This is a Frizak Excalibur coming out of Jeremy here. He just turned a little bit on that forehand, that's put him into the woods. That's a tough spot. So he's in the woods on the right, and there's a lot of woods on the left. He's really got to kind of weave this gap here. And good out out of him. Yeah, because a nice. great shot. You know, he had to penetrate a lot of different small gaps. You can see how vast that jungle is on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah, the fairway gives you a very clean initial line, and it really tells you, like, this is the line you want to hit. If you get off of it, you're definitely scrambling, which is a good par four. Great shot out of Ryan there. That's the angle and the shot he needed, so yeah. he'll take that. Yeah, Kale here with his M2. On a backhand that just is so nice. Watermelon time. I don't think I've seen that disc thrown poorly. It just no. doesn't happen. No. And just a soft harp. 
making a run at that there, huh? I wanted to be a little spicy. I saw the hill, and I figured, why not? Good shot out of Jeremy, too. Yeah. yeah, this hill's another tough one. They roll down like it's their job. You hit that one rock slab there. See yep. you later. Yeah, it, it definitely makes you think about your upshot, which is good. But awesome. it's, you know, what a birdie from Ryan. Great from scramble. Absolutely. And Kale will tap in his birdie there. Lovely. Lots of birdies here. Yeah. It, you know, for being 352, it's very gettable. It's uphill, but, you know, we can all hit 400 feet on our drives. So, you know, just the angles and how we have to attack this, but for sure. Almost a star frame there. That'll bring us to hole 15, par 4, another long hallway, 453. I don't like this hole just because I don't know how to throw on it, but you must like it. Yeah, it's another straight shot. You know, there's definitely places where you can attack this from a shorter position, but a longer drive gives you a lot of options on how to get to the basket. You know, as long as you're missing that initial cluster of trees, you're going to be looking at that birdie. Definitely a fun kind of little gully there right before the basket. Really yeah. cool hole. Yeah, so Ryan's throwing another DD3 here, trying to get some good distance. It's a little too much turn and a little too low. It's that tree cluster you're supposed to miss. Right in the middle there, yeah. though. What this, are you throwing here? This is my T-Bird 3. It's the same disc from hole 6. It's turned a little bit, but it has height. Yowza. Turned perfectly is what you meant to say there. <laughs> yeah, and that's past anywhere I've ever landed before. That's a jump putt at the, uh, the eagle there. Wow, yeah. great shot. This is Kale throwing. I'm pretty sure that's a H3 again. Yeah, a lot of hyzer on that one. Kind of a weird flight, but yeah, it gets up there. It gets up there. Yeah. You know, it's off to the right. It's in kind of in that little valley area. Jeremy with his forehand. I like this line out of him. That's right, just needs to check up. Okay, Gives a shrug. He's yeah, happy. he's happy with it. Yeah, didn't have a hard, harsh skip off into the woods. So, a couple great tee shots there. Nobody's really in jail there, Ryan. Kind of an easier upshot, I'd say, right in that gully. Yeah, you can see the fairway. It gives you a nice look to the basket, but you still have to throw a good shot. Awesome shot there from Jeremy, right, kind of on that uphill. Yeah. Hey, look, it's watermelon. Oh no. Still not bad though. I gotta get me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good shot. That'll putt. Yeah. It, you know, it gives them a chance to get that birdie. Just and throwing. what were you we playing here? Were you we laying this up? Yeah, it was a layup. I had too many branches, too much of a ceiling to actually give it any sort of an eagle bid. We missed this catch cam putt, but that jiggled the chain. Obviously, you saw by that tongue action from Kale. Good run. Yep. Just missed it. <sighs> Great birdie from Ryan. Awesome job. See, you can hit a little early. And you can still throw a great second shot and still birdie the hole. This, is a, this hole's like a double roll away. Now Kale has a roll away on this side. You guys have a roll away <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. And, you know, this, this course is definitely really makes you commit to your putts. And if you're not committing, that's when you really find a lot of roll aways. Great birdie there. Tied you up with Kale, minus 11. Couple holes to play. What a battle. Absolutely. We're feeling it. We're ready to go. You know, the. Uh, the feeling on the card is definitely a little more tense. We're still friendly, but we know we're competing. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm sweating. All right, hole six, par three, 335. This one's elevated. Another tough, tight, elevated hole. It'll get you. This one is uh, tricky. <laughs> this is a rough hole, absolutely. If you hit early, you are looking at a big number. No. Ryan, going back to that speedy disc. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. got to keep it low again on this hole. Yeah, Caught an he, early tree and shot him out. Yeah, you went a little high. You really got to make sure you're going almost right at that, those rock wall you can see straight up. What are you throwing here, Kyle? That's a Star Destroyer. It's got a little too much turn and just kind of hits those Good scragglers. Tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremy with a beautiful-looking forehand. Yeah, I love that flex line out of him. So That's nice. Great. Yeah, that'll put him into a nice long putt. Kale with his H3 again. Just throwing darts, just straight and low. Maybe want a little more height out of that, but that's kind of right where you ended up. Yeah, you're trying to you know hit that hill and play for a skip. He didn't get the skip. And now this shot right here out of Ryan was incredible. Yeah, was just a little flip up, forehand with an OptoX compass. Just great control, great speed out of his hand. So smart to use the elements kind of as a backdrop, and this was awesome too. Great shot out of you. Yeah, it's always nice when you, you know, touch the pole after your up shot from being way out of position. Satisfying, right? Must be so sad. Yeah. 
Similar kind of jump putt from Kale. No, oh, he wanted that one. Run. He really wanted that putt. He knows he's got to start making these putts coming down the stretch. Good par from Ryan, especially off that tee shot. Great scramble there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, this is another hole where, oh, you know, only a certain percentage of power throws can reach the pin. Uh, you know, we all have the distance, but it has to be a perfect throw. So par is really not a bad score. Yeah, for sure. Wow. All right, we're going to another hole check-in to through 15. Bobby's been making some moves. Bobby's at minus 13. You and Kale are at minus 11. Yeah, I mean, you can see that there's four seven downs on the board. So, you know, we're scoring today. We're ready to go. This second round is really where we're starting to turn it on. We know where we're all at. We know what we have to hit. So we're going for it. What a roller coaster. Hole 17, par 3. We have out of bounds on the right-hand side road here, 335. What's your game plan on this one? Yeah, this is to throw a nice committed hyzer, something that's not going to flip up, but it's just going to hold that angle and hopefully miss some of these trees. This one's kind of a little bit of a kind of just throw, and hopefully you, you get through. There's definitely lines, but the trees are a little there. And if you go deep, you can also find out of bounds. Yeah, one of the few holes I have out of bounds. This is Ryan's tee shot. Fortunately, yeah. a little overturned here. Yeah, he just he didn't hit any trees when he needed to hit them. He finds that out of bounds. Unfortunate. Yeah. This is my MD4. Just throwing a nice committed hyzer line. A little high. Asking for it to sit there. Hits a kind of a bad tree there. A little but, road dance. Yeah, it plays the road. We could not see any result of this off the tee. I think it's out of bounds. Everybody's saying, you know, trying to stay positive, like, nah, you skip back in. We can see you skip back in, but I'm I'm still shaking. Let's see. Yeah. Jeremy yeah, here, he's gonna throw a Brinster Destroyer. And I thought this was definitely a Jeremy hole based based on his flight. And kind of gets an early tree there and kicks out, but that'll work. Yep, that's an up and down. Kale's throwing his watermelon M2, so you know it's going to be nice. It's going to be juicy. Enjoy the ride, folks. <laughs> it's going to be in down the middle of the fairway. Has a nice skip nice. up. Kale says, where's the catch cam? I'm going to throw it right at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually that catch cam's in a really good spot. Jeremy with a nice, simple layup. Some fluffy grass on this hole. This is one of the holes that has kind of grass on the... Yep. Yeah, this is a tricky shot here from Ryan. He had a lot of stuff, so he has to go to that stretch out patent pending. Floats it up. That, that was for par two, unfortunately. Tough run for him. And Kale. Great putt out of Kale. He knows what he has to do. He knows he has to make these putts, and he does. Do we think it's the watermelon disc every, like, throw? I think he birdies every time he uses it. Honestly, at this point, I think it's anything. So a short one for you here, but a tough putt. I wouldn't say tough putt. It's a tough result. Tough result. That's, that's one you never want to see, losing the lack of concentration. Tournament Central right behind you. Kind of a lot going on on this hole. Yeah, I was still thinking about having how I was still in bounds. You know, that's where my mind was. So that's when you miss putts. That's right. This is the hole to shake it off. This is hole 18, par 3, 451. This is a long hole. Very cool. Kind of got to get through those first trees. Awesome hole. Yeah, this is an absolute beautiful shot. You can throw something. Normally you have some headwind that you can play into. Really let this just flip up and glide over. Kale's going to try to get that flip up out of this D2. This just doesn't quite connect on it. You know, you, Gets through the gap, but yeah, not, yep. not the angle he wanted. Yep, no, that's a great shot still. You know, it's going to be at 40 feet. This is my beefy Halo Destroyer that I just know I can commit and throw hard. That snapping sound. Yeah. Just lovely. And this yeah. is a rip. Yeah. yeah, it finishes just outside the circle, just a little bit past the basket. Beefy. Great throw. Yeah. Jeremy lifts this up. I'm not sure if he was going for the gap or going for the out and around. Yeah, unfortunate drop there. I could have made it around, I think. It. Tough angle there for sure. Yeah. Ryan going on the forehand as well. Again, just a little high. Uh, that'll sneak through. Yeah, it snuck through. He's going to have a pretty good result for how high of a shot that was. Still has about 150 maybe to go. It's, it's a far one. Yeah, and this road is not out of bounds for hole 18. It's only for hole 17, so 
It's the same road, but it's in play. All right, kind of a you know decent shot out of Jeremy, just trying to get around. Let's see what Ryan can do. Let's see if he can have a nice throw in here. Plays the wind. <laughs> Great run. It's just a straight <laughs> long putt. Yep. It's Kale's birdie bit. It's a long one. You can see that wind just lift it up as soon as it kind of saw that hyzer exposure. Tough with the wind on this hole. You're kind of in the woods for the whole course, and you come out, and the wind's just kind of yeah. swirling. Yeah, this basket's wide open. There's a field. It's, you know, it's not protected by anything. So even though the flags aren't moving, it is windy. There is a breeze out there. Awesome hole to end on, although you guys have one more hole. This is a great 18 hole for sure. Yep. Good yeah. run out of you there. Yeah, it just had too much hyzer out of the hand, never kept, got it flat, so it couldn't go into the chains. Ryan with a nice putt for par. Kill for par there we go. It's getting tense. We've got some crazy scores going on. Yeah, going to the last hole. I'm down to Kale by one. I don't know where Bobby's at. I don't know where the rest of the cards at where the rest of that lead card is at. But I know if I keep playing my game, we're going to do all right. All right, well, let's go ahead and check in on this card. So we're through 17, one hole to play. Bobby's up one, minus 13. Kale's at minus 12. You're at minus 11. We've got a few at minus nine. One hole to play. What a tournament. We need some magic. Absolutely. This is where dreams are made, right here at the last hole. This is, where, this is what can make or break your round. That'll bring us to hole one, the starting hole, final hole for you guys, par three, 384, awesome hole, kind of a local route on this right-hand side. What are you throwing here? Well, I'm going to throw a destroyer. Uh, just hit that big, wide, outside hyzer line. I think that, you know, it, there's a lot of stuff there, but it's one of the better ways to get down to the basket, especially once it gets windy like it is right now. you got a headwind that's going to lift stuff up for sure. So at this point, we know Bobby on hole 18 is kind of off in the woods. He's playing for par. So we know Kyle, uh, we know Kale, sorry, needs a birdie here for sure. Absolutely. And he's a gamer. He knows what he has to do. He knows the shot. He almost aced it round one. Let's see if he can improve. Not an easy birdie for sure. Starts on a good line, though. Wide. Missing the trees. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Only Kale, folks. Folks, don't adjust your television. That was an ace. This is a walk-off ace, something I've never even thought of in disc golf. Kyle, walk me through this. What are we, what are he, we feeling? Oh, he hits the perfect line. It cannot be thrown any better, as you saw by the, the fact that it went into the basket. But what can you do? <laughs> you know? Could you believe what you just saw when you saw Absolutely that? not. And I think the best thing is that, you know, Kale's wife, right before he threw, said, if you ace this, I'll buy the next vacation. Oh, my. Yeah, bon voyage. Let's take a look at this bra line here. Just lovely. The skip is just oh, perfect. Like it's fully calculated there. That was right? incredible to watch. Don't expect that again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, the worst, here. the worst time to tee off is right after somebody aces. Yeah. How do you follow that up? What you, <laughs> you normally don't. And you know that makes me more nervous than anything else. Just having to follow up that ace, knowing that I'm still competing with Kale. Unbelievable. You got to stay in your own game, right? And just throw a yep. great shot, which you did. Yeah, I threw it a little wide, so I didn't get that same skip that he did. But, you know, I'm right in that gap looking right at the basket. Ryan's throwing a PD2 here. He gets that turn, and it's a little bit high. And he hits that those leaves that are up there, that cabbage that just knocks down shots. Not bad, though. That'll putt. You'll kind of have an open line there. Yep. Work. This is a Star Destroyer here from Jeremy. Not sure if he was trying to get that a little more turned. I, I think he was trying to get a little more turned to go in that straight gap. And that's got to sit. And, and it looks like it does. Yeah. It checks up. And this is Ryan behind the bush. It's pretty hard to hide him behind a bush. He's a big <laughs> man. <laughs> big birdie putt out of you. Yeah, just the soft Annie oh, floater. It looks, looks great out of your hand. Yeah. And, this, this basket right here, it is a complete roll away asking to happen. So you go soft at this, and you finish with the par. Great par. And Kale's like, I don't feel like putting on this hole. I'll just stand here and take right. my picture. Unbelievable. What a tournament. What a finish. 
congrats on third place, Kyle. This was incredible. Thank Kale you. taking off the walk-off ace. Yeah, huge congratulations to Kale. Uh, he's not just as he an amazing player, he's an amazing human to play with. He was an absolute blast to have on the card, super positive, and a pleasure to have. So thank you so much for showing up, Kale. Thank you for throwing an ace to give us something amazing to watch. And congratulations to Bobby for playing a great tournament. And it's a bummer you lost to an ace. Unreal. Yeah, thanks, Kale, for doing that. That was super nice of you. <laughs> and Bobby, congrats on second place. Incredible tournament. So many great players in this tournament. I can't wait for next year. It's going to be incredible. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Kyle, thanks for doing this with me. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Disc Golf Bra. Disc Golf Bra. Thanks, guys.